Hello, I'm Sheila Etienne, Vice President of the Asbury Park Board of Education, former student and current resident. Hi, my name is Monique Nelson. I'm a certified health coach. This is my second year of hosting a nutrition literacy workshop for our parents, and uh, I'm excited to be here. Now, we have Monique here to talk to us about nutrition, what it looks like, and it's, it's on par with the message that the district has been sending um, district-wide. First of all, we've been dinner um, into the day, the school day, so that our children are getting three square meals a day. We also have a partnership with um, Colstack School District. Um, it's kind of like a farm to table uh, initiative that was spurred on by um, Tom Arnold, who is our freeholder in Mountain County here, and it kind of it brings fresh food to, to our kids. Um, it, it, it's an experience that Unless you live on a farm, you wouldn't get so our kids are getting married. I'm happy that you're here to kind of wrap some of that into yes, uh, our parents okay. and, yes. and making sure the whole family is getting that message. And that is exactly what I spoke about today. The differences between the typical uh, American food diet and uh, food uh, cultures and diets around the world. And my main point and objective today was to help our parents see see food as real food, single ingredient items that they have a relationship. So what she's pointing out is if you're looking at the traditional, you're seeing a lot of canned box frozen foods. These are all fresh fruits and vegetables, uh, potatoes, uh, corn, squash, greens, and then this is pizza and, and frozen items and prepackaged items. And sugary drinks and things like that. Sugary drinks is the uh, number one cause of obesity in our country and I also gave some helpful tips on how to eat healthy. One of them was to shop the perimeter of the supermarket where you'll have your fresh produce and you'll have your refrigerated and frozen items because those are things that typically don't have as many preservatives in them and organic you know so you're not looking for things that have pesticides and harmful chemicals. Those center aisles are filled up with pretty much all junk food. So we want to get away from eating junk food, eating real food, and having a better relationship with our food, which means knowing where our foods are coming from, eating more locally, eating more organic. That's excellent because, A, I didn't know that. That's perfect. Now that I'm thinking, I'm running over my head and I see that. And the other thing for Asbury especially is that we have been dubbed a desert, right? So we have a lot of convenience stores where you can walk in and you can get the bag of potato chips. Right. There are quite a few farmers markets yeah. in the community. You have uh, school markets like Aldi, we brought that up, that uh, has organic and fresh uh, foods available. Your, uh, can you give them, um, can you tell them what the difference between organic and regular? Organic means that pesticides or uh, chemicals were not used that kill the insects and bugs all for the fruits and vegetables. So it was, uh, they used a natural, you know, herbicide or something like that to grow the fruits and vegetables. They didn't use chemicals that could be potentially cancerous or harmful to the fruit. And then to you so when you And it passes on to you when you ingest it. Um, so some fruits and vegetables, you don't have to worry about if it has a skin on it. So if you have a banana or orange or things like that, you don't really have to worry about buying organic though so much, you know. They, Unless it, you're eating the, the skin, right, which most people aren't, right? But it's things that are skin, you know, that don't have a covering that you want to be more careful about of uh, buying organic. So uh, we had great parent participation today and a wealth of information that was exchanged. Uh, programs that they're utilizing in the community and information that they got from the workshop. So it's really great. That's excellent because you don't know what you don't know. It's got to find out. Right. right. It's great yeah. to get reinforcement. And, and one parent in particular had a son who wouldn't eat vegetables. And so I gave her tips on a helpful cookbook that she that would teach her how to puree the vegetables and put them in the meal so he really is getting the nutrients but doesn't see it. So uh, hopefully she'll utilize that and we're going to keep in touch to uh, be a resource to each other.
is if you start them early on and vegetables are a regular part of their diet, mm -hmm. it never becomes an issue. It's, it's the introducing it later in life that makes it. That's right, right. It's a lifestyle change and also uh, being more active, drinking more water, consuming less junk food, um, and primary is cutting out sugar. Sugar is eight times more addictive than cocaine and uh, much harder to, um, it's a disease. If you become diabetic, we see young people, the obesity rate for children and adolescents is at an all time high in this country. And it is something that you really have to fight hard very early on to eliminate from your household diet. I think that definitely the water too, um, even in, in bottles for babies, start getting them used to taste the water. Mm -hmm. If you can give them water instead of the, the juices, they, they have the little water bottles just like the hubs. You know, mm -hmm. you throw the water bottle in with you and you get them acquainted and used to having juice. Not soda and not the sugar. The other exactly. Juice. And to add a little flavor, you can always add a mint or a lemon or an orange or a lime or a cucumber. There are so many things you can do that help berries to infuse your water with fruits that add a little flavor. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for coming. Thank out. you thank so you much for having our parents.